Hello and welcome to Neat and Orderly. We hope you are having a great day and enjoying this video. Today's video will show you some hacks for cleaning and organizing your locker. Please share these hacks with anyone you may know that uses a locker. Sometimes, keeping your locker organized is more challenging than advanced trigonometry. But it doesn't have to be that way. If you feel overwhelmed by the state of your locker, start with a clean slate, literally, by taking everything out of your locker. From there, you can use some supplies to help you organize your books, papers, pens, and other belongings to create a welcoming and easy-to-navigate space. We've got plenty of locker organization ideas, so keep watching to find what tips and tricks will work best for you. Before we begin, please take a moment to like and subscribe if this is the type of content you want to see more of. Okay, let us begin. Number 1. Install magnetic hooks to hang clothes or bags. Use up vertical space by installing magnetic hooks. All you have to do is open the packaging and press the magnet end of the hook to the inside of the locker, it's that simple. Not only are magnetic hooks easy to install and remove, but they also give you a feasible place to hang your gym bag or jacket. Place your hooks higher up in your locker to easily store books and other supplies underneath whatever's hanging. Number 2. Use a locker shelf to maximize space. Get a plastic or metal shelf if your locker doesn't have a built-in shelf. A shelf will help you to separate the limited space you have, allowing you to keep books in one place and supplies in another. Basically, it divides your locker in half. Locker shelves come in many shapes and sizes, so measure your locker before you buy. Pick a locker shelf that matches the color of your locker or is your favorite color. If you can't find a color you like, try spray painting the shelf to match all your aesthetic needs. Number 3. Attach magnetic locker organizers. Having handfuls of loose paper floating around is expected throughout the school year. Your locker can become a dumping ground, so why not make the dumping a bit more organized? Stick a magnetic folder holder or basket to the inside wall of your locker. Now, you'll have a space to neatly place your papers so they don't get stuffed under textbooks throughout the day. Smaller pockets with magnets help you make the most of the small space. If you take multiple classes, try picking an organizer with multiple pockets. You can slide assignments and notes into their corresponding class pocket. Number 4. Stick a magnetic dry erase board on the inside of your locker. A dry erase board is excellent for writing small notes or reminders. Unlike sticky notes or loose paper, a dry erase board won't clutter your locker space. It's easy to write on and clean up, a win-win. Simply stick a magnetic dry erase board to the inside door of your locker, and write on it whenever you see fit. Many locker dry erase boards already come with a dry erase marker, but you can always purchase more, so you have more colors to choose from. Keep a magnetic dry erase marker on the door next to your board, or store a handful of colored markers in a magnetic cup on the door. Number 5. Stack heavier items on the bottom of your locker shelf. Bulkier textbooks and binders are harder to remove from the top shelf. Locker organization is about thinking, what will benefit me and my locker throughout the day? You will not want to pull down a heavy textbook after a long class. Place your larger books and materials at the bottom of the locker. This way, they won't fall on you while you try to take them off a high shelf. With this in mind, store your lighter notebooks and supplies on higher or top shelves. Putting heavier items at the bottom of the locker will also keep shelves from warping and bending over time. Number 6. Arrange your books and supplies by schedule. Keep your supplies organized, so your locker stays tidy. When you're in a rush, you don't want to search for the right books for your next class. Organize your books and supplies from left to right according to the order of your classes. Just remember to set everything back in order before the day ends. Try color coding your books and materials to make things even more accessible. Designate a color for each class, and pick supplies that match or place a color-coded sticker on the spine. Organize your textbooks and binders with the spines facing out. This way, you can quickly identify everything. Consider labeling the spines of your books and binders if they're blank. Use a label maker or permanent marker to write out the name of each class. Number 7. Keep similar items grouped together to prevent clutter. Storage containers can help you organize smaller belongings. Rather than dumping everything in all at once, consider making designated spaces for each type of item. For example, place all your spare pencils in a magnetic cup or pencil bag and store lip balm and mints in a small locker drawer or bin. This way, everything has its home, and you'll be less likely to lose something. If you wear jewelry, keep a small dish or plastic container in your locker so you can safely store your jewelry before gym class. Number 8. Stick your class schedule to the inside door. Always remember which class is next with a schedule inside your locker. Make things easier on yourself by printing out your schedule and putting it on the inside door of your locker. 
use tape, sticky tack, or fun locker magnets to hang it up. This way, you'll be able to reference it whenever you need to. Slip your schedule into a sheet protector to protect it from spills or mishaps. Number 9. Use a miniature trash can to throw away small items. Small bits of garbage can quickly stack up inside your locker. Solve this problem by keeping a small trash can or bin inside your locker. This is especially handy if your locker isn't close to a school trash can. Toss old papers, gum wrappers, and or pencil shavings in your tiny can and empty it once it gets full. This will keep your space clean and save those extra steps to the trash can. Avoid throwing food or wrappers away in your locker, as discarded food can leave a foul smell. Consider making your own trash can by painting a small mason jar. Number 10. Make it a habit to regularly clean out your locker. Weekly cleanups will make your locker look and feel more organized. Before you go home to enjoy the weekend, spend a few moments cleaning out any trash and reorganizing your books and materials. Some things may have moved around throughout the week, which is normal. Simply put everything back in its rightful place so you can start Monday with a freshly organized locker. Take home any extra items you don't need in your locker right now, you can always bring them back later if you need to. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you have a great day. If you made it this far, do you have any tips or tricks we didn't cover in the video? Please share in the comment section, we would love to hear about them.